Here we have a 2002 Audi A3 1.8 Turbo Sport hatchback in silver, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth there, you're looking at easily good 3mm in the centre of the tyre. Offside front alloy, very minor light scuff on the outside edge there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, it is looking very clean, very impressive for its age. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, from this angle, looking down the bodywork, I can see a slight dink on the driver's door, but apart from that, I can't see any other dinks or dents down there. Offside front arch, just um, some light scratches down here will need a polish. Apart from that, it's looking pretty well. Driver's mirror, just one or two minor stone chips. Uh, and again, some scratches that'll just need a bit of a polish. Driver's door itself, again, a bit of the paint's come off around uh, the door handle there, as we can see. A couple of little touchings down the door edge of the door. A little bit of rust starting to appear at the very bottom of the door edge there. And again, just to polish just some of these lighter scratches. Sills fine, nothing really at all to report on the roof. And again, some little touchings will be required on the paintwork. Some light scratches around the rear arch they'll need a polish. As you can see, there's loads of these little, um, I think this is tar to be honest. So you can see these little black dots on the paintwork, I think it's tar. Uh, they're above the driver's door as well, and near the roof. So just be wary of that. Moving towards the rear arch and rear quarter, again looks fine. Nothing really to report there. Rear tyre, you're looking at a good four to five millimetres, so a lot better than the front. Rear alloy, as you can see, a bit of the paint is starting to bubble around the inside of the spokes, but there's no curbing or any scuff marks there. I'm moving towards the rear end of the car. Definitely had a bit of paint on the rear bumper. Uh, you can see little bits of uh, cracking starting to appear in the paint as well. Uh, some deep scratches on the loading bay here will require some paint. Again, we've got some cracking all on the rear bumper there. Near side rear quarters fine. Boot itself's nice, but again, we'll just require a good mop and polish and some paint on the rear bumper. Underneath the boot tree, I've got your spare wheel. Just needs a good valet inside. Parcel shelves in there as well. Near side rear tire, again, good four millimeters of tread. And looking on at the rear alloy again, we've got some paint bubbling starting to appear around the spoke there again no curbing or uh, any scuff so just age related marks and then looking down at the near side of the vehicle just one or two light little dinks no signs very dense rear arch is fine just some scratches down here might require just a bit of paint um, again the door edge is fine good mop and polish to the door but again it's not looking bad at all for its age a little bit of a polish on the mirror there front arch a couple of little stone chips will require some touch-ins and it's just good 4mm tread there on the front tyre as well. Front tyre alloy, as you can see there's some paint peel and a little bit of curbing on at the outside edge of the alloy there. So again, potential refurb will be required. Move around the front, as you can see all the uh, headlights have uh, misted up. Front bumper looks a little bit loose. Uh, it doesn't feel it, it's not moving anywhere, but there's a bit of a gap between the headlight there. Whereas you can see it's not so bad on that side. Some stone chips on the bonnet will require some touch-ins. As you can see, there's these little marks around the paint. I'm not quite sure what these are on the bonnet. Just be wary of that. Uh, no signs of any serious damage. Again, you've got some scuffs. A lot of cracking of the paint on the offside front bump corner. So all around here, you can see the paint has started to crack. So just be wary of that. Inside, you're looking at the full cloth, the driver's seat. There's a bit of wearing around the bolster. A um, little bit of fraying as well, as you can see. But again, it is an old, old car now. Um, so it's not looking bad really for its age. Front passenger seat in nice condition. Back seats are looking well. You got all your log book, ba uh, all your book packs. Sorry, there. Nice condition to be fair. You got your old CD radio unit in there. But again, looking very tidy. Your dash and sense console all looking clean. Gear stick a little bit wearing and the steering wheel a little bit wearing around there as well. You do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, so two keys and just getting the car started. If you take a look at the dash. No issues at all starting the car, 138,000 miles just over. Engine management light is on, so obviously be wary of the engine management light. Uh, you've got a Kenwood um, radio unit here, but uh, can't really use it because uh, the button here is broke, so you can't really get it to play any volume, etc. So you're probably better off putting in the original unit. Blowers work fine, air conditioning comes out nice and cold. Service history, as you can see here, plenty of history with the car. Um, all Audi as well, pretty much. That was last stamp at 100.